Hey, good evening everybody. We are going to be playing Root today. I was going to be playing Legacy of Goku 2, and I do still plan to uh, do so. Why does that... Okay, that's good enough. Uh, yeah, I do still plan to do that, probably next week, but uh, this game came out today, and I've been waiting for at least a year for it. I heard rumors about it last August, and so we're going to be playing some Root. This is the digital version of my favorite tabletop game. It's a game about adorable little creatures with uh, the mechanics of a hardcore brutal war game, so that's going to be fun. And I also just noticed, I played a little bit of this earlier so that I would know the uh, interface, but I just noticed that the harmonica says Kay Farron, which is a reference to Kyle Farron, who's the artist for the original tabletop game. A lot of his art is in here, like the logo here. And yeah, I already know this game pretty well, so I'm just going to be getting right into it. But if there's anything specifically that you want to know about it, just let me know in the chat and I will let you know. So... Let's start up an online game. First, I will check. Is there any open games? Yes, Tom MC's game. So we will join that. I'm gonna be the Woodland Alliance. Ah, uh, now we will we will wait for the other players and everything. Although there is an AI for this, I haven't played with the AI yet, but I've heard that it's pretty good. Uh, I'm part of the Woodland Warriors. Discord, which is the... It was specifically made for Root, but it's pretty much all of the leader games, including Oath, which is on Tabletop Simulator now, and uh, I think some people are playing Fort, which is on Tabletop Simulator. I really want to get Fort. It looks really fun. But for the time being, we're going to be focusing on Root, because this is what has come out most recently. <clears throat> Just gotta wait. Wait for this. Um, hopefully this goes by quick enough. Uh, it looks like this is a slow game, so we will actually back out and I'm gonna set up uh, my own game and make it the three minute time limit, random clearing suits, and yes, all of the factions will be available so let's be the woodland alliance and uh, so that it's not too long we'll go with three players and we'll just open that up to whoever did not take too long to set up a game earlier so hopefully this doesn't take much longer but we'll have to see because I mean online matchmaking takes however long it has to take yeah, this game is $14.99 on Steam. It is early access, so there are still a few little things here and there, a couple typos and some of the things I've seen. Uh, the the biggest thing is the chat is pretty glitched out, um, but, you know, that's, that's not too important for the most part. I will be using the chat some here because this is a game where wheeling and dealing to try and make different alliances and stuff is pretty important, so... Hopefully, hopefully people are open to doing so. Just gotta keep, keep waiting. Come on, come on. If I have, if it takes too much longer, I'm gonna just back out and get some AI. Up oh, there we go. Ah, that's a good name. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, or I guess they just backed out. Okay. Uh, but we have somebody who doesn't seem to mind who they're gonna be and then or they left okay I don't know what's happening with that but just gotta keep waiting come on guys somebody join somebody join come on I saw that most of these matches were press were protected so this is like this is your option. Join the game. <sighs> come on now, come on. Somebody. 
Ugh, I'm so tired. I, I, I'm going to try and play through two games of this. Maybe stick to just one. We'll see. But, um, yeah. Gotta wait for this one to get set up. Can I just start game? It's not allowing me to leave now, so. Okay. Anything? Anything? Hmm. Well, this is a conundrum. Both of the people who joined just left or dropped out or something. I don't know what happened there. Uh, but it looks like... Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to reset this because I think it's glitched out since it's not allowing me to leave at this point. So, hold on. Hold on. Let's start it back up. Skip through that. Okay, audio levels are still good. Let's try that again. Let's see. Oh. Well, this is... Okay, I guess it was set up. It just glitched out. Alright. Loading. Loading. Gotta set up the board. It takes a while. Gotta pull out all the pieces, put them out in the right spots. Takes takes a little bit. Start the game. <laughs> Come on now. This is early access, so there are gonna be hiccups like this along the way. No help in it really. Start the game. <laughs> ah, it was not doing this earlier. I'm curious if it's because I am streaming and that's taking up some of my bandwidth or what, but hopefully third time is the charm here and it actually starts. Come on now. On. Start. Should I wait to see if it loads, or should I just... <sighs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's back out again. Hold on. Play. And now my room has disappeared, so I don't know what's up. Let's join Bernie's game. Okay, let's join Panast Panast Panastalim. 
Woodland uh, Alliance, join game. There we go. We're locked in on this game. So now we just gotta wait for the other two players. Right now, we only have the uh, main four factions that come in the base game. I presume they're going to add the expansion factions eventually. Um, when? I don't know. Good good question. It did take at least a year for them to uh, make this, because I only started hearing about it about a year ago. Maybe they were working on it for longer. Uh, I would like to definitely play this with, with the other factions. I'm partial to the Lizard Cult. And the underground duchy are pretty fun. Uh, not so much the 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 the, the uh, uh, what do you call them otters? Uh, River folk, River folk mercantile company. They're okay, but every time I play with them, for the most part, it feels like it just adds more stress to every other player because now they got to focus on stuff. Hmm. All right. Got to keep waiting for the match. Who just tweeted? Did tweet out earlier that this was going on. Oh, hey, there's the guy. Oh, those are the two guys from my game. God damn it. Okay. Okay, this one's actually loading. So here we go. Nope, nope. Bring back the chat, bring back the chat. There we go. All right, come on now. Stuck about there. Oh, oh, here we go. We're in. I'm gonna zoom all the way out because uh, while I'm sure they put a lot of work into these 3D models that they have, I'm not a huge fl uh, fan of them. So we're gonna keep backed out so that we just see the icons. Plus it's just, it's easier to read that way. I don't have to scoot around the screen all the time. So, uh, just gotta wait for the other guys to set up. I don't have any setup for my, uh, my faction. For anyone who doesn't know, this game is a asymmetrical war game. So each of the factions, while sharing some common rules, have almost entirely different rules and ways to win. So as you can see, the Marquis de Quet, they are starting with dudes in pretty much every part of the board except this corner, and that's where the Eerie Dynasties are. Meanwhile, the Vagabond, is going to have a single guy in one of these forests. He chose there. And then we uh, we are playing the Woodland Alliance, who start with nothing on the board. It leaves a lot of room to do some stuff, so I'm happy for that. Um, all right, who are we playing with? These guys, let me see if anybody's talking in the chat. Nope, okay. It looks like we still got to play with the same people we were gonna play with before. Um, ooh, Marquise has already taken a early lead, although I should have about the same amount when I start up here. I have my sympathy down here, which is what I'm going, or rather, my supporters, which I'm going to use to place sympathy, and that is how I get on the board. Hmm. Each of the turns can take a bit because there's a lot to ponder over. You'll see for certain on my turn. Uh, I'm gonna take my turn pretty quick because I've played this game a lot, so I know what to expect. Plus, I just value taking turns pretty quick. I feel like you, you learn a lot faster if you force yourself to do things a lot faster. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see down here, there are little 3D models for all of these characters. And all that. But... I prefer to keep it zoomed out so I can see everything and the icons. But you can see their little shadows down there too. Like, there's still the 3D models. They're just being uh, covered up by the icons. <clears throat> All right, what are you doing? What's your move here? Hmm. Now, the Eerie Dynasty, how they work is they have a decree 
that they add cards to right here. And those are the actions they can take, but also must take. If they cannot do all of them, then they go into turmoil, which means that they lose a bunch of stuff and have to end their turn early. They do not want to do that, but it also means that they can have a ton of actions that they can do. So if you can figure out the puzzle of the Eerie, you can be very, very powerful. Hmm. Where do I want to start here? I'm keeping an eye out because my general move would be to try and start right in here because this is the clearing that has the most paths out and you got to connect things. But I think I'm going to tuck myself over here. I still have three routes going out. Uh, and yeah, there's some options but I won't be attacked immediately. So, all right, I could revolt if I had the stuff for it, but I don't have any sympathy out yet. So, let's see. I can do any fox clearing. So I'm gonna do this one, since there's nothing in there. And then I'm going to also spread a sympathy out to here. And that's all I can do there. And then I'm gonna mobilize which is going to do this fox. No, does the fox even help me here? Hmm. Eh, may as well. I don't have any use for that card. And these are both about the same. I'm not going to be able to craft either anytime soon, so they're going to be more use to me as supporters for right now. So that's the end of my turn. I drew a card. And I might do that later on. Now that I have a rabbit, I will probably do something with that. The Vagabond, their thing is that they're basically a first-person RPG. So they're just one little dude running around doing quests, helping or hurting, however they feel. In this case, he's not made any enemies yet. And he just explored that ruin and got an item, which you can see if you look on his board. He has all these items that he can do different things with. Uh, boot helps you move. This helps you explore and do your special move. And then there's also relationships, how the other factions feel about you based on how you help or hurt them. And that can affect your score too, because if you help, you can get a score, but then if you hurt... Uh, you get score for every guy that you take out after that, but you don't want to make yourself too much of an enemy because you break your items when you get hit. This game is very thematic. Everything makes a bit of logical sense if you think about the theme. Let me see if anybody's proposing deals in the chat here. Uh, good luck, have fun. I'll just say you too. For now, once again, item, I'm going to, uh, because if they help you, they also can take any items that you've done. So I think my next turn here, I'm going to move sympathy into this rabbit clearing, and then I'm going to craft this. Ah, come on, dude. All right, all right. That's an easy point, because if they take that out, they get just a point. Ah, uh, but they didn't have to do that. Okay, okay. Alright. And that's an outrage! Which means that I get one of their cards for my supporters. It happens anytime they destroy a sympathy or they move into uh, a clearing that I have a sympathy in. Hmm. That also means I can revolt this next turn. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to revolt this early. That makes me too much of a target. I want to keep things down, on the down low, to start out. I'm going to turn the audio up a little bit. It looks a little quiet. Although, I think it gets a little louder during the battles. Alright, what are you doing, Marquise? Marquise? 
And before anybody corrects me, it is Marquise, because it ends with an E. If it ended with the S, it would be Marquis. But because it ends with the E, that makes it Marquise. Plus, I have watched the folks at Leader Games play this, and they pronounce it Marquise. So, there you go. Oh man, the Marquise is already very far ahead, too. Oof. I got some plans. I, I do have some plans, but, uh... Yeah. I'm gonna have to deal with this. I think you can only have so many supporters. Hold on, let me... Look at the rules real quick. How many supporters can I have? Because there's, like, a limit until you do something. Or at least I thought. Hmm. Eh, it doesn't matter. I think it's only if you don't have any sympathies. Alright, they're fighting. One of them used an ambush. And... Oof. Emptied out the clearing. Alright, what am I gonna do my next turn here? Oh, Eerie is already entering turmoil. So they couldn't build in, oh, they had to build in any clearing, but I guess, yes. They don't have anybody in a clearing that doesn't have a roost, so they couldn't build anywhere. And because they couldn't do that, they go into turmoil, they lost their leader, they lost the rest of their turn. Big problem for them, but mm, it's not so bad. Usually you go into one or two small turmoils at some point in the game. It's only really a game breaker towards the end game. Uh, to be clear, we are going to 30 points. So this right here, that's your points. Right now I have one. Yuri has zero. Yuri gets it from building Roos. Marquise gets it from building buildings. Vagabond gets it from a bunch of stuff. Uh, I mostly get it from spreading sympathy. I am not going to revolt. Not yet. I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to spread a sympathy down here. Spread a sympathy. Yeah, that gets me points at least. Spread one sympathy over there. And that's all I can do. Uh, craft. I'm going to craft this boot. Because that gets me one point and that gets me a boot. Which I will now I will now offer to oh uh, what's the name for Fox's sake You want this boot? I can be a good ally. Hopefully they read the chat. This is always my move, is I, I craft something and I try and make friends with the Vagabond because generally um, the the larger powers of the Eerie and the Marquise are not gonna wanna play well with the Woodland Alliance. The Woodland Alliance can spread really fast and really brutally. So understandably they're trying to quell me as fast as possible. But I can also distract them long enough, and hopefully they will harm each other. Hey, there we go. He helped me out by giving me that card, which gets him a point. And he took that boot, which is fine, because he's the only one who can do anything with items. Nice. And then I got another card, which will be very useful for my supporters. All right, everything's shaping up pretty good. Ooh, ooh, this guy's a good Vagabond. He's making some good decisions right now. Got a, got a little far away from the other ruins, which you can see are up here and over here. And those, if he explores them, gets him a point and gets him an item, a random item that's under there, which, let's see, he found the, found the bag and the boot, which means there is a sword, I believe. 
maybe he got the sword out of there. Uh, but he, he's got some other stuff going on there. Oh, I got a dominance. The dominance cards are kind of a fool's, a fool's errand. Uh, because the idea is that if you play it, instead of winning by points, you win if you control, in this case, opposite corners of the board. Which you can tell who's ruling by uh, the little flag underneath. It's basically whoever has the most pieces in that clearing. So right here it's orange, that's the cats. Over here it's blue because they have one, two, three pieces and the cats only have one. Um, so if I played that and I got two opposite corners controlled and kept control of them until the beginning of my next turn, I would win. I don't do that though because that makes you a huge target and they always, always go after you so hard to prevent it. So I don't think I've ever seen anybody win with the dominance. It's, it's a very difficult thing to do. Ah, come on now, come on now. You don't gotta be like this. All right. And then uh, battle, how that works is uh, we roll the, whoever's battling rolls the two dice and they get the larger number. Whoever's got, um, whoever's defending gets the lower number and then they do hits. Because I didn't have any warriors there to defend against, they got an extra hit and immediately took it out. And because it was a cardboard token, at least in the original game, they got a point. But because it was an outrage, they had to put a, a card from their hand matching the clearing, which was mouse, into my supporter stack. Bird, to be clear, is wild, so I believe they gave me a bird for that. Which is helpful, because that means I can just toss another one right back into the mouse. No problem. Let me know in the chat if everything sounds good, looks good. Um, it looks like it's running, it's a little choppy on my end. It's running okay, I did lower the quality a bit, which just means it's a little more, I really, it's a little more pixely along the edges. Um, but because I am scooted out like this, it doesn't matter too much. Plus, I mean, in general, this game, it seems like, uh, is stylized enough that even at a low quality, it looks pretty, pretty all right. Oof, they're building up a wall there. That's smart. My move when I play the Marquise is always to scoot everything back and create a wall right around here. Yeah, like, really fortify everything along along here, but it looks like they're branching out a bit. Hmm. Oh, they're really trying some stuff. Yeah. I don't have any warriors out yet, so I can't really do anything about it. Hmm. Uh, is that a card bonus? Yes, yes that is. So as you can see here, uh, I draw, I put down sympathy tokens. I need one supporter to put down sympathy tokens for all of these, two for each of these, three for those. And if I'm going into an area that has three or more of their warriors, then I have to spend an extra one. It's an outrage. They've moved into my territory. Yeah, that's one of the typos they're choosing in. in. Choosing in. Oh, come on. You guys really gonna be like this? Okay. I mean, to be honest, if you take out all of my sympathy, that's fine by me because that means I get a lot of supporters and I can choose wherever the heck I want to go. I would say they keep fighting me, but they should honestly be fighting each other because the Marquise is a much bigger threat right now, but whatever. All right. Put it in the supporter stack. All right. No clearing to revolt in, so we're gonna scoot along. We're gonna spread sympathy. I'm gonna spread one out to here. One out to here. And... Oh, I could do one out to here, but I don't wanna spend 
spend any more of that. Let's see, craft. Oh, what can I craft? Uh, hmm. May deal an extra hit, but they score a point. I don't like that. Uh, hmm, that could be useful. I don't want that. Uh, I'm not gonna do any of those, so I'm just gonna mobilize all of these. So mobilize just puts them in my supporter stack. Uh, ooh, I can only have five at a time. Whoops, I should have put my other bird then. It's fine, it's fine. I got it, I got it. Ooh, I got an ambush card. That'll be useful when they continue to freaking attack me all the time. Oh man, I'm such a big target right now. And it sucks, because look at this, I only have six points, which is, yeah, it's more than like the Eerie has, but they, the cats have nine. And they have a much bigger board presence, so maybe you guys should do something about that. Mm. I'm not worried about the Vagabond. Because they have no reason to be, to have any problem with me. They've aided me quite a bit, in fact. <laughs> uh, I like for Fox's sake. I got the Hummer. Hmm. Yeah, I hope I can get another thing to craft soon. Want to give my? Oh, wait. Do I? No, that's what. That's what they're currently crafting. Hmm. All right. So how is Vagabond doing? They already got up to eight points. So that's pretty solid for them. Let's see. There's Satchel. Right, right, right. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, they're doing pretty good. I, I, I have a good feeling about them. Uh, my thing is always, uh, I like to ally with the Vagabond, and if I can at least get them to win, I still feel satisfied even if I lose. I'm not exactly the best at this game, because I don't really specialize. I've been doing the Woodland Alliance a little more, because now that there's a digital version, I can play it a lot more. I do have the physical version, and I have played it quite a few times. Um, but I always switch around, and I have all the expansions, so I've played some of the other other factions that aren't in this one yet. Yet, I say. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if it's going to be a free upgrade to get the new factions, or if they're going to have it as a paid DLC. I wouldn't mind, you know? This was only $14.99? Yes, and it is early access, so... It should still be a bit like that's why there was a typo in there earlier and like the chat um, Let me see if I can get it to do it the chat when you go when you type Yeah, see it's invisible. I can't see what I'm typing sometimes you can see but that's so far the biggest issue I've I've had It's not too big of a problem though because like it, Yeah, there is some talking that is required because it's It's a war game and alliances are important but, you wanna, oh, come on! Yeah, 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 all right. Go on, do it. Yeah, the rolls don't matter here because I'm defenseless, so they get an extra hit. And they just immediately take it out, so they get a point. But, that's fine, I, it's an outrage. Oh, but I have to get a base out on the board if I want to, um, if I want to get any more supporters, so. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to revolt this next turn. Unless they attack me, in which case I can't. Hmm. Is that really what? I, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll revolt in the rabbit clearing. Because I can, I can defend that a little easier, I think. And I'm mostly going to be just recruiting so that I have some way to protect myself. Hmm. What y'all got? What y'all got? Ooh. Oh boy, where they're moving. Where they're moving. Hmm. Th this is also another thing, is, uh like these overlapping. Although that's the thing is if I zoom in on that, 
it just because the 3D models are pretty close. Oh, actually, they are clipping through each other, so now that is, that is a glitch. Also, look at the sympathy. Look at that. Ow, oh, goddammit, speaking of. Come on. I get it, it's a free point, but... Hold on, I'm gonna mention this in the chat. Man, y'all coming at me like... <sighs> Come on. Yeah, see, the chat is a pain in the ass to use sometimes. Y'all coming at me like... The cats aren't three points ahead. All right, revolt. I'm going to do it. I got to get something out there. Something out there I can defend. Oh, dominance card available. Oh, because that's one of the ones I just used for that. That's fine. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna send some sympathy out so I can get some points. Ooh. Do I wanna use both of my foxes? Well, it's gonna be taken out pretty much immediately, so I may as well give them something else to distract them. Uh, ooh, do I wanna train? No, I'm gonna wanna recruit. So let's see, can I craft anything? I could, but I'm just gonna mobilize. I'm gonna hang on to that ambush so that when they come at me, I will have some form of protection. And then I'm gonna move on to evening. And I'm just gonna recruit. I can already tell, because they, they are working on a mobile version of this as well. Uh, the way that there's the circles and everything, that's gonna be so easy to, to touch with your thumb. I'm excited, I'm excited. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work on my iPad because I have an, like an iPad 3 and it doesn't run like anything, but I will get it for my phone for certain. I mean, I, I that was guaranteed gonna get this. I was hoping it would be not too expensive. I was expecting 20 bucks, so 14.99, basically 15 bucks, that's pretty good. Not a problem for me. Hmm. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing, pal? I'm glad everybody's playing pretty quick here. My, my thing is always, uh, yes, they keep taking out the sympathy, but that doesn't matter too much to me because, um, when they do that, that just means that I can put more sympathy out at cheaper prices. Yes, if I get higher up, like on the sympathy track, I can get a lot more points, but it's a lot more expensive. So, I gotta keep that in mind. So, and yeah, it, it, they, it puts it into outrage, which is uh, much more useful for me because that gets me resources. So if they do that, that gets me a resource, that gets me an opportunity to get more points, and it wastes their attack that they could have used on a bigger threat that will probably uh, attack them more. Although in this game, I'm gonna say it's somewhere between the Marquise and the Vagabond. I think the Vagabond might win this one. They're making some good decisions. If I can fit a second game in here, I'm going to play Vagabond. Fair enough. Ah. It's a it's a friendly rivalry thing. I always make sure to keep it as lighthearted as possible when I'm when I'm griping about people bullying up on me cuz I it, that's what happens when you play the the Woodland Alliance. Because if they don't bully up on you, then you get, uh, you get a little too, too far up there too quick. Hmm. 
man. It's interesting. Every game I've played of this... I mean, this is only the second one on here, but... They, uh... They really don't value the sawmills very much. In the... The games I've played against the Marquise. Interesting, because when I do it, I always put uh, quite a few sawmills out. Because that's your resources. It gets you the wood that you use to build the buildings. Hmm. Interesting. Seriously, the Vagabond is... Doing great here. Ooh. Ooh, the Marquise is uh is making a push. They're making a pretty big push to try and fight me. They're gonna I can guarantee they're gonna fight. Unless, I mean, I wasn't counting how many actions they did. Hmm, defending there. I feel like the Vagabond is going to attack there. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a fight. Uh, I'm going to choose an ambush card. Do they have Do they have the bird? Ah, they do. So that cancels out. Oh, 3-3. Three, three. That doesn't do so good for me. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. Because I want to keep my base. I, I lose a lot more losing a base. Hmm, that's okay. That's okay for me. Unless they fight again, in which case I am screwed. Outrage. No, okay, I'm fine then. So yes, I need to recruit ASAP. And I'm also going to uh, revolt right here as a little FU for all that. You have made a grave enemy this day. Uh, kitty face. Devious kitty face with the little paw. It took me a long time to get that. I thought it was like a weird frowny face with a mustache, which maybe they will too. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Mm. Come on. Come on. Don't come to me. Don't come to me. Or how many battle actions do they have? They have one. Oh, but they got to fight me then. Ah, oh, man. Unless they go to the middle. Are you going to the central clearing? Come on. Go this one. Go there. Go there. Mm hmm? Nope. Nope, they're gonna fight me. Hmm, that's fine, that gets me. That gets me some stuff. All right, all right. I guess that is the safest thing to do, but... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, see, there. usually they would get the three, but because the Woodland Alliance uh, has guerrilla warfare, that means that I get the higher one. And then I get an outrage. Nothing new in the chat. I build another roost. All right, so now we are in the mid game. These guys are, are getting up in there. Revolt. Viva la revolucion! Let me actually say that to them. Revolucion. Did it, did it go? It did not. Viva la revolucion. All right, then I will spread some sympathy. Don't need to spread it 
there. Let's spread it over here. This is a little heck you. Oh, I could spread some more. Hmm. Well, if I do this... Yes, if I do this, I could recruit next turn. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it, but at least gets me a point, so... Ooh. Well, no, 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 no. I won't have enough to do the revolt next turn if I do that. Not that I'm going to be able to. They're definitely going to take me out, but, you know. You know how it goes. Uh, I will be able to craft that. Uh, I'm going to mobilize this one. Oh, right. Actually, I got to get another sympathy there. Uh, yeah, let's just mobilize both of these. Gives me more options. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to move this guy. Ooh. I'm going to move that guy over there. And... I'm going to recruit there so that I have a little more protection. I've been doing okay. Uh, well, the boots sold out. God damn. Oh my goodness. People have been crafting like crazy. Completely missed that, huh? Probably why I don't do great at this game sometimes. <laughs> All right. Yep, we are in the mid-game. I, I do like there's a very solid delineation between the beginning, the mid-game, the end-game by having the 30 victory points. So we are, are deeply entrenched in the mid-game now. What's up? What's up? What's going to happen? I, I have a pretty good feeling that the Vagabond is going to take this. But we will see. I do not know what that means. Hasta siempre riba, but I presume it is in response to my Viva la Revolución. What's the Vagabond gonna do? I do want to craft this um this sword because that that gets me two points, and that can give me some good stuff from the uh, Vagabond. Uh, I was going to see if I could convince the Vagabond to take out those two warriors, but we'll see what his plan is here. Yeah, there we go. All right. That's what I like to see. Marquise is considering options. What's up? What's up? All right. And now, yeah, in the fight, Vagabond taking damage has to damage items. That one's damaged now. Oh, but they did take them out. That's pretty impressive. They, they got deep into enemy territory and they took them out. Which means that uh, hopefully they will... They will draw them away from me long enough for me to revolt. Depends. Depends on how badly they want that sawmill. You're gonna have to hit him pretty hard. Mmm. If they do the field hospital, that means that they can just get that guy right back. Let's see what they do. Yeah? No? Okay, they didn't go for it, which means they're probably going to move some guys in. Or they have just forsaken that sawmill and the keep. 
which nothing really happens to them if they lose the keep, but it does, it does symbolically uh, show them to be weak. Ooh, they gonna craft? What are you gonna craft? What will you craft? They're gonna attack Vagabond. I don't think they can. I don't think they're gonna be able to, but we will see. Oh, they're moving. Come on, move out of the fox clearing. Move out of the center's clearing, please. Please. I believe, as well, this is the non-randomized version? Yeah, I think this is the default clearings. Keep saying they're moving. Come on. Come on, catch up. Yes. Yes, they've moved out. Oh, the fools. I shall revolt. The thing is, they can't see my supporters. So they don't know that I have enough to revolt. Silly, silly. It's not gonna help them. All right, now all I have to worry about is the friggin' Eerie coming in and attacking me. Hopefully they recognize that the Marquise is a much bigger threat right now. Okay, they're fighting up there. Ooh, oh, they took out a roost. That's impressive, okay, okay. Yeah, the Marquise has really uh, lost some footing here. They're spread out pretty far and wide. I don't think they're making great decisions. They're making a lot of risky decisions, which are definitely like paying off in the short term, but I don't think they're gonna be able to win with that kind of mindset. Hmm, and who did they go with? The Tinker. That is the OP choice. Or at least it used to be. Um, I think this only has the original character set. Each, each, uh, b -b -b what do you call them? Expansion has included three new Vagabond characters. So, it's, it's very, um... It's very interesting what people will choose. Oh. Hold on, I gotta send a message. Coco is going to sleep, which I will be doing after this pretty much immediately too, because I'm quite tired. But, um, yeah. Checking in that I'm going to be able to feed the pets and such, which I certainly will have no problem with. Oh, you're making a push for that, huh? All right. Where are they moving now? Where are they moving now? Hmm. It keeps giving me the... It keeps giving me the notification. Each time here. Hmm. Moving. Moving. It keeps saying that they're moving, but it's not showing where they're going. Oh, 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 yep. They're going to try and attack more roosts. Or they're going to attack me down here at my bunny base, which I really hope they don't because I could, uh, I could really use the base. I really don't want to lose that. Although, I might look out on the die roll. Okay, they're attacking there. Good, good, good. I am probably going to recruit an attack down here. Partially because I want to show off the, uh, the nighttime battle. Because 
the Woodland Alliance is the only one who can battle during the evening, and it looks really cool. Come on now. Come on now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, I'm excited that this came out because uh, I was planning on doing the actual tabletop version with just a camera, which would work out, but it would be kind of a pain, and it would have to be against the the automated characters, which aren't the worst, but it's eh, it's not the same as playing against other people. So I will probably definitely stream more of this in the future because I, I love this game. This is my favorite tabletop game, and I'm so happy that it got a digital edition. I was originally a little disappointed in the 3D models, but they're kind of growing on me, and as you can see, because I'm zoomed out like this, uh, you kind of only see the 3D models in the battle animations. Alright, let's see. They only have to find a fox clearing, so please, please... Please go over here instead. Nope, nope, they entered turmoil. Perfect, I can revolt this next turn. Just gonna be fantastic for me. Oh boy, oh boy. So yes, after this next turn, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, so I will hopefully not be completely destroyed in that time, but we will see. There we go, and now it's my turn, so we're gonna revolt right here. <coughs> revolt, get rid of that business, which gets me a point. Then I drop my base and I get a warrior. And then I can't spread sympathy anywhere because I don't have enough supporters, that's fine. I can't craft. That's also okay. Hmm. I'm not gonna train there, so I'm gonna mobilize these for sure because I can't use them for anything. And I will save this because I do want to craft it later. <laughs> um, and then we're just gonna shoot over to evening. I am going to recruit over here so that I don't risk losing the base in this fight. And then I'm going to, uh, well, I'm also going to recruit over here for safety. How safe? I don't know, but we will see. And then I'm going to battle right there. Let's see how it turns out. Uh, they do have the opportunity to use an ambush, but we already used both of the ambushes that'd be used here. And I got a two! Perfect! Take him out! Yeah, the evening battle looks so much cooler. It sucks that only the woodland can do it, but you know what? That's just what happens, baby! Nice. Um... That's it, that's the end of my turn. Uh oh, is it frozen? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it had to shuffle the deck. All right, so now it is the Vagabond's turn. I'm gonna run and have a quick break uh, while they're taking their turn, so BRB.
Okay, I have returned. I'm not gonna put the headphones on. I can't actually hear the music. Uh, cause it's having troubles doing so. But um, yeah, I got back before the end of the Vagabond's turn even, so that's good timing. Is that, yep, mm, yeah, that's good framing. All right, continuing on the game, or actually, I should have the headphones on because I can still hear myself uh, when I have the headphones on, so that's that's probably a good thing. Um, maybe a little higher. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's see what's happening here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Marquise, even though they got a strong early lead, I think they are not going to win here because they're spread a little too thin. Um, they made too big of an enemy too early on. I... And making kind of a slow lead, but I don't think I'm going to lose here. I wish I could do something about the Vagabond, because they're really slamming forward real quick. And they're probably going to win here. Anything new? Nope, nope, nope. Any alliances forming? Who knows? Am I sure? Let me check that I actually have the audio set correctly. I should. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna turn it down for you guys quite a bit. I'm gonna turn it up here real fast. Nope, nope. Hmm. All right. I don't know. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It is not the biggest issue. But, nice to know why it does that. Oh well, let me know how the audio sounds to you folks, because like I said, I'm unfortunately unable to monitor it right now. Uh, auditorially, I can see it, I can see it visually. So I'm aiming for around negative 30, but it looks like it's like jumping all over the place, so. I'm not certain if it's at a good level or not. I think we're good. Ah, oh, come on! Why are you fighting me, the Eerie, and the Vagabond? Hold on. Yeah, they're hostile. Bad priorities, my dude. Come on, I'm just gonna type. Why? Vagabond is so ahead. Lamau. A good Lamau can always diffuse what might sound like a really angry message. Seriously, though, I, I think the guy playing the Marquise is kind of stupid. <laughs> this does not look like it's going the way that they want to. I don't know. It, it looks like they just kind of crushed themselves up. Yeah. Hmm. I do have a pretty strong hold on things. Let's see. Uh, out of the T, so I'm probably going to deal with that. And then I'm going to try and craft one of these sometime soon. When? I'm not sure, but we will, we will see. Now, the big thing is if we can take out the Marquise is Sawmills then there's nothing they can really do to s come back from that. Hmm. But it's also like there's not much they could have done anyways. Ah, uh, they're really protecting the one up in this mouse clearing. Hmm. All 
right, they're heading over there. In fact, I haven't checked where they're battling now. Bird clearing, so really anywhere. Okay. The Vagabond. Yeah. Yeah, kick that beaver while he's down. Kick him in the teeth. They're large. It's a big target. Let's see how much damage that did. Oof. Quite a bit, quite a bit of damage. Uh, yes? No. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Ooh, yeah, a lot of damage. Uh, they have to build it. Oh, that clearing. I thought that already had a roost. I think the Marquise destroyed it, though. My turn. Alright, can't revolt because I already have all my bases out. And then we're gonna spread some sympathy. Hmm. If I spread it up here, I need to use two of my rabbit. I do want to send it out to another mouse. So, yeah, I'm gonna send a couple out there. Ah, shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. That's fine. We'll also send a couple down here. <sighs> hmm. All right, what can I craft? Uh, well, let's let's craft coins. That'll get me three victory points, and it'll get me the stack of coins. Yo, I got coins if you want them. Hold on, want them. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mobilize. I'm gonna mobilize the ones that are sold out. I'll hang on to the sword. I don't like any of the cards that score other dudes points. Ooh. Mm. Ah, it's more useful to me as a supporter, so let's just do that. And we'll skip along to evening. All right, and now what we're gonna do is recruit here. And... I'm going to move one guy down here. And I'm going to uh, battle. I'm gonna attack this guy right here. Defenseless, how does it feel, bud? After all the garbage you put me through. Three, nice. So that means I do get to hit him for two. Yep, yep, yep. I suppose if they have a ambush. All right, defenseless. Take them both out, nice. So that's two points for me. And that's one less sawmill for them, which makes it much more difficult for them to do stuff. Right. Make money, make money, money. Nice. See what I mean? The Vagabond makes a great ally. Now the best move is to become allies with the Vagabond and then convince them to make a coalition. It's tricky. It's tricky, but Sometimes you can manage it. As it is, they can only make a coalition with the Eerie because when they do it, um, effectively the dominance 
if uh, if you use this and you control the three mouse clearings at the beginning of your turn, you win. But that means that pretty much everybody is going to be stopping you from doing that. However, if you're the Vagabond, because you can only control, you can't control any clearings actually, because you don't even have a warrior, you have a pawn. They make a coalition, so that means that they basically uh, attach themselves to the person with the lowest victory points at the time. And if they win, then the Vagabond wins with them. So it's basically making a bet on whoever is currently losing. Come on now. Help me out. Help me out. Come on, you know you want this coin. Moving? Where are you moving? Okay. They might not have realized they could do it in that last clearing. Or they're being sneaky. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, wait, they're crafting. That's why they moved here, crafting. Okay. I swear to God, if they attack me, they will wreak a righteous fury upon them. Or I will breathe the Whatever. Come on now. Come now. Eating. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Come on. Come on. Anytime. Anytime. They gotta exhaust an item. <sighs> Come on now. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'll accept that. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Now, if they're smart, they're gonna recruit in that rabbit clearing and then move into the fox clearing and start some beef with both me and the Vagabond, but I don't think they're probably that smart. Hmm. All right, they're fortifying. They're holed up in there. I don't think that they're gonna last too much longer. Where are you moving? Where are you moving? Come on, come on. They're moving into the fox clearing, right? Oh no, they're making a push for that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what they do here. Making a big push against me. Which is smart. But also screw them. You know? This is not good for me. It's smart for them. Smart enough. There's a bit of lag sometimes, especially when the Marquise is moving. I don't know what's up. Hmm. Really, two? Think you can do it with just two, bud? All right. At most, you're taking out my warriors. You're not taking out anybody else. Ooh. All right, here we go. Big fight time. I don't have an ambush card. 1-1. One, one. Ah, that's nothing. That ain't nothing. Why are my guys br all bruised up? I mean, I guess I technically have less warriors than him, but that doesn't mean I lost. We were even on that one. Fine, that didn't go the way that they hoped it would. They were hoping to luck out on three. No doing, bud. All 
All right, we are getting into the end game now. We've bust we've broken through 20. And uh, usually that means there's only going to be another couple turns. All right, what do you got? Rolling up oh, 30. Looks bad for you, boys. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, and I actually got the 3. Okay. Yep, that did not go well for them. So, yeah, this next turn, I'm going to make a push up into their uh, mouse clearing and take out their sawmill. Because, uh, I don't play these games. You attack me like this, you're going down. I'm mouse clearing with all the cat buildings looks real vulnerable. I'm coming for it. I'm gonna take him down. Oof, the Marquise is really... Oh yeah, and they don't get field hospitals because they lost their keep, and there's no way to get it back in the same game. Let's see, they're doing their fight, and then they got to build. Uh, they're probably gonna build in this mouse clearing, I think. They might go for the fox, though. No, they went for the fox. Interesting. Hmm. Would not have expected that, but okay. Don't need to revolt anyways. Sympathy. Okay, where are we heading this sympathy out to? Hmm. Ah, uh, da da. Where do I want to put it? I'm going to put one. Yeah. Well, what do I want to build? Sword. So I gotta go out to fox clearing. Let's do that then. And then I will also pop one up in here that I might lose, but I'm mostly getting it for the points. Okay, and then we're going to uh, craft that sword there we go that's gonna be two victory points and the sword up to 23 i'm doing pretty good but the vagabond is too so i want to be careful um do i have any other items i can craft ah crossbow cross uh whoops actually never mind right 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 okay now we're gonna mobilize all of these bad boys I don't need to look at another player's hand. Come on. Uh, mm. Maybe I'll hang on to Commander Warren. That might be useful for me later. Ooh, and the Cobbler. Uh, yeah, they're less interesting to me as supporters now, so let's scoot along. Ooh, and then I could train. Oh, I think I'm good with three. Three... Uh, military operations. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to do here? I am going to... I'm going to recruit... Uh, actually, I'm going to recruit here. I'm going to... Hmm... I'm going to move. Oh. Do I want to move these or do I want to move that? Uh, symbolically, the rabbit building has more for me, but you know what? 
I will abandon it because it's more important to me to destroy this guy over here. Move. And I want to make him look foolish for uh, abandoning his post up here. Plus, if I take out that sawmill, he is just out for the count. Oh, I hope they don't have an ambush. Ah, frick. Well, that's no good for me. That's fine, that's fine. Oh boy, I forgot to think about the ambush. That might have been a bad mistake on my part. Oh boy. Well, crap. My hubris! All right, and I gotta discard down, so I'm gonna discard. Uh, yeah, let's discard this. Oh, I still have six. Um, and discard that one too. There we go. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end here. Can you guys see the chat? Yes, you can. Perfect. All you're missing down in this corner. Um, in fact, why are you even missing that? Hold on. Let me... Whoops. That's the incorrect one to move. That's what I want to move. Do, do, do. Uh, I don't like the balance of that. Here, I will cover the fox picture because we don't need that but yeah all you see down here those are my actions um but i say them as i do them for the most part so oh did he take that sword he did not that's fine he is wrecking the marquise's business left and right so i am cool Game, not quite yet, I don't think. Doing well, but I don't think that they're winning quite yet. <sighs> nice. Ooh, they might attack again. Yep. Nice, took them both out. Ah, GG. Ah, they won. It was close, but they won. I I called it. I called it multiple times. It was gonna be the vagabond. Dang. Well, I came in second, so I'm I'm satisfied with that. All right. So, let's see. What time is it now? 8:30. Okay, perfect. I am gonna do uh, another game of this. Oh, that's cool! It turned to nighttime because it's it's now nighttime. That's cute. Um, I am going to play another game. Let's go with Veldorax game here, and I'm gonna play the Vagabond this time. Cause I don't play the Vagabond very often. I usually leave it for uh, somebody who's still new to the game because it's very low pressure. I usually say the Marquise because it's the easiest to understand, or the Vagabond because it's, like, 
the lowest pressure. You know, you don't have to be a big target. You can kind of do your own thing. Ah. Hmm. Jax the dog and Veldrak. All we gotta do is wait for that fourth player there to play the Marquise de Cat. Oh, no, we lost a guy. Now we need <laughs> two characters to play the Marquise and the Woodly Little Lions. I feel like most of the time it's because somebody joined or they opened it up, saw that the faction they wanted to play wasn't there, and then left. Nope, nope, he's back. I think it just glitches out when it does that, which makes sense. I do really like um, the lighting effect on the Vagabond there. It's like, it's sort of like uh, like it was painted on canvas in maybe like a pastel or something. Very, very interesting. Let me know how this looks and sounds on your end, folks. I, I know how it looks in my preview, but I want to make sure that this is, this is a, a good looking set up here you know put a lot of work and stuff into it and i'm always trying to improve and also you know if you're enjoying the stream i i'd like to uh ask if you could consider following it would help the stream out it's free for you if you have an account you just gotta click that heart and it will set it up so that you get notifications every time i go live i stream three times a week so i hope that you will uh consider that i would i would greatly appreciate it oh bake sale Nice. Favor of the Mice is really good. Okay, so playing the Vagabond now. Ooh, a lot of options. A lot of different options here. I'm gonna... Okay. Hmm. I th am going to go with the Tinker, I believe. Because they are the OP option out of the starting set. Yuri are setting up, and then it's going to be my turn to set up. Which I already know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to plunk myself directly in the middle of all of the um, ruins so I can go around and do that stuff. Alright, Ranger Tinker. Uh, yes, what does a Tinker do? Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Tinker. All right, and we're gonna start in this forest. There we go. We're gonna start there, and we're gonna, ooh, depending on how, how these folks do their whole thing, we're gonna hop into wherever the least action is happening. Stay away from it until I can get all of the, um, all of the ruins explored. That'll start me off with four points and four other items, which will give me quite a bit to work with. Hmm. We'll see where the Woodland Alliance decides to start up. Let's see if anybody's talking in the chat yet. So glad I can play without having to spend a half hour setting it up Lamau. All right, we are gonna slip over here. All right, and I'm going to uh, explore. What do I get? The boot, nice. And then quest, what quests do I have? Um, boot, boot, boot bag. And those. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go boot boot. Yes. That that's the one I wanna do. Can I not? Hmm. 
It's not letting me. Hmm, let me try that again. Oh, that's... Duh. I have to be in a mouse clearing to do that one. Okay, in that case, I am just going to... I'm going to aid the Marquise to get a point, and I will give them a... Oh, I don't want to give them that, actually. Never mind. I'm just going to use a boot to scoot right over there. And I think that'll be the end of my turn. And keep it simple to start off with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're crafting. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Gets you points. Ooh, overworking already. That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Mm, yep, and they're keeping their sawmills put together. All right, where are they putting their sympathy? Where are they putting it? Interesting. Ah, yep, yep. And in the fox. This clearing here is very important because it's the only one that has five paths out. Meanwhile, this is the only clearing that has two paths out, which would be a good, or, well, this one as well. Um, but this one's closer to the high traffic one there, so... Yeah, if you wanted to really hole up, you could probably go in these two corners and do some with it. Marquise did some interesting things, but I feel like... Oh, they should have scooted in, maybe. But that's always what I do in the beginning as Marquise. Just kind of compress some of those thin forces into a, a heftier wall across the woodland. <sighs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm very tired. I got up at six today, so can go bed right after stream. I'm tired. Hmm. All right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. 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 Right, I'm going to hang on to that until I can get the other hammer from the ruins. And then we're going to scoot over there and do the quest. Ooh. You know, actually, I'm going to slip over do the quest. And heck it, I, I can do the ruins over there. So let's uh, explore first. That got me a bag, perfect. I'm gonna quest. This quest. Why is it still not letting me do it? Something, oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't loading correctly. Uh, do I want cards or do I want three points? Oh, I will draw two cards. And I'll discard down. Uh, I can't even do this one, so I'm gonna discard that down. Craft, I can craft a single mouse, so I'll get this root tea. That's helpful. Gets me points, gets me tea. 
Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And... Oh... Let's... Let's aid. So we're gonna aid the Marquise. We're gonna give him the favor of the mice, which is incredibly irresponsible on my part, but whatever. And we're gonna exhaust one of the bags because we don't actually need all of them currently. And I will take that root tea, thank you very much. Hmm, so that gets me points. And it gets me a root tea. So we are doing quite well for ourselves. That is going to be the end of my turn. And then, uh, what's the other quest here? Fox. Hmm. Well, I will probably quest here before I head out. Okay. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Hmm. Ooh, considering a revolt. I can do that already? I mean, if you're gonna do it, then do it, dude, because you're, you're not doing great right now. The Marquise is doing quite well. I think I'm right behind them. Hmm, yeah. I'm mostly excited for the lizard cult to come to digital. <sighs> Is it? I don't know. I, I don't, uh... I don't even recall what I put in there. I I did want to cover all of my bases. Is this game like Armello? In a way, it's more of a war game. Armello, it, it focuses more focuses more on adventuring, as far as I remember. Um, this the deal with this one is that whereas Armello, everybody has more or less the same things with different strengths and weaknesses. With this, everyone plays completely differently. So the Marquise de Cat, they start with uh, a single piece on all but one space on the board, whereas the Yuri Dynasty, they start just six dudes in one corner. Um, oh, much more complex than Risk. Risk is kind of the most basic idea of a war game. It's, it's pure like Colonel Blotto, just you have pieces, you fight, that's it. It's, it's just very rudimentary. Whereas with this, it's a lot more complicated because, like I said, they all have different rules. So um, the Eerie, they have to add cards to like this decree, and that means that all the cards they add, they can do a bunch of actions, but they have to do all of those actions, or they go into turmoil, which loses them points. It l makes them reset all of their decree and all of their actions. Uh, the Woodland Alliance doesn't start with any pieces on the board, but once they get out there, they can start doing some really interesting stuff. Um, games usually last uh, between an hour to two hours. I started just a little bit ago. We're still in the very early game. Right here, you can see by our player, uh, or you can see by the player characters, we have point markers, and we're trying to get to 30 points. So right now, they're a little under a third of the way there. Let's see. Um, I. Do I want to slip? I do not. Uh, I'm actually going to skip my slip, which might be a bit foolish. 
Um, so my thing is I'm playing the Vagabond, and it's basically like a single-player like RPG where I only have a single piece on the board that can't be knocked off. Yeah, blue is blue is not doing great. Blue is like the hardest faction to play, though, so I do not blame them. Hmm, do I want to take from the discard pile? No, 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 no. Uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to quest right there. And I'm going to gain two victory points. That's good for me. How many factions are there? In uh, in the original physical version right now, if you get all the expansions, there are eight. In this digital version, they've only implemented four so far. It's still early access. I'm now going to move over here. And I'm going to... I'm going to explore. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be too much of a jerk, so I'm not going to really use those. Uh, I could still do some stuff. What can I craft here? Um, fox, uh, crossbow, does give me a point. Uh, I guess yes. I will craft that. Nope, nope. Do not want to battle. So let's make the crossbow there. Yeah, the, my favorite faction is actually not even in the digital version yet because it's from the second expansion. Um, it's the Lizard Cult, and they're kind of like almost a deck building faction. They're really hard to d explain, but they're uh, a ton of fun. Ooh, do I want to exhaust more? Let's see, I already have one, two, three, four, five. I could exhaust two more. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. And we will give them that. And I will exhaust. Oh. Oh. Let's exhaust this. Um. I... Ah, crap. I shouldn't have done that. I had to aid two times to get the, uh, to get the real benefits of that. Whoops. That was a bad move on my part. Um, oh, shoot. I just realized you guys can't see. Uh, you don't need to see what the actions are, so I'm, whoops. Not the frame. Not the thing. There we go. Okay, now you can see I have nine victory points. So I'm about neck and neck with the Marquise. Uh, part of that is because I am directly helping them. <laughs> As best I can. Uh, let me see if the, anybody has proposed any kind of things. Uh, da, 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 da. Incite that outrage. I believe Veldorak. No, who's Veldorak playing? Ooh, they're playing the Eerie. Right, right, right. Yeah, the lizard cult is tricky. But if you can wrap your head around them, they're pretty powerful. Ah. Whoops. That's one of the glitches of this early access, too, is that uh, if you scroll in the chat, it also... Uh, zooms you in and out. Revolt. Oh boy, they did some early revolts. It hasn't gotten them a lot of victory points because the uh, the revolts don't really get you victory points. It's the sympathy that you want to do. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I want to go over and make an enemy out of the Woodland Alliance. I think I might. I think I might do that. Yeah, since I need to head back that way anyways. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bit evil. But I kind of want to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, da-da-da-da. 
I will quest before I head over there. Uh, wait. Double check. Yes, I don't need anything from those quests. And if I strike... If I hit them with the strike, there's not much they can do. Oop, no. Nope. Never mind, they recruited. Mm, well, I should still be okay. Oof, never mind. Well, hopefully the Eerie will do something about them. Or can they? Mouse clearing. Nope. Come on, add a mouse or a bird to your decree. Uh, to the recruit, bud. They're playing it way too safe. Way too safe. What's their plan? Nobody's really taking them down. That's a little concerning. That's a little concerning. There's a lot of recruiting, a lot of movement, but not a lot else. They better be careful because they are going to go into turmoil if they uh if they run out of pieces to recruit. Five. Hmm. It's getting close for them. All right. Oh, do I want to slip? Yes. I'm going to slip over here. And then I'm going to move over here. I'm going to explore. Don't want to click the wrong thing. The iconography on that is a little different. Okay. Uh, I have nothing I can craft. I'm going to quest. for the victory point. Hmm. And then I'm gonna strike. And battle. Well, do I, eh, yeah, they can only take out one anyways. Whack him. Three, three. Oof. All right, I'm gonna damage. Oh, I will damage the sword. Or no, I will damage the torch because I don't actually need it now. I already did quite a bit with it. And that gets me a victory point. Uh, let's see, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't need it right now, so I will ignore that. And now I have an ambush card, so if they try and attack me, I can ambush them. Hmm. Um, okay, while they take their turns, I'm going to take a quick break, so I will be RB, folks. Oh, come on, all of my shortcuts.
Okay, I am back. Let's see what the Woodland Alliance does here, if they're going to retaliate. There we go. Oh, oh, looks like they might. Listen, I know a threat when I see one. As the other thing is, if any of the animations happen, it stops your typing. Early access, everybody! Alright, what do I have next in terms of quest? Ooh, I can't do either of those, but I could do that one. Wait, why don't I have another... Right, I didn't start with a sword. Do I have one that I could craft? Um, crafted items, crafted items. No, no. What about here? Do you have any crafted items? Anybody has a sword they can craft, I'd appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna hop back out of here. To oh, up. Oh, is there a rabbit clearing nearby? Yes, there's a rabbit clearing. And ooh, I gotta repair first. So let's uh, do a repair. Yep, continue. Then I will use that to quest. All right, that's three. So I can do two more here. And I am in a rabbit clearing. Hmm. It would be worth two victory points, so hmm. I think Gosh, do I want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to aid. Well, maybe I should hold out. Maybe I should hold out until I can get an item out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to hold out on that one. Okay, in the meantime... Hmm. Could I craft? No, I already used one of the... Huh. I could move and then craft that. Let's do that. Let's get away from the Whittle Alliance, because they do not like me right now. Move. And craft. Mouse and a sack. One point and a sack. Okay. And that's going to end my turn. I think I'm doing okay. I'm staying neck and neck with the Marquise, although they get to go first, so. No. Oh. Listen. I'm not... I mostly need it for a quest. Lamau. Oh, it does this every now and then. It just, like, collates everything. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, yeah, and a reminder. This is what's happening on the ground level. But I like the bird's eye view. It's a lot easier to read. How you guys doing? Are you understanding this? I know it's kind of a complicated game, so if you don't, uh... If you don't know how to play and you have any questions, like, feel free to ask. I'm... Happy to answer. Hmm. 
Hmm. Although, Blizzix said that that was a long list of chat rules. I, I guess I should shrink it down? Are you are you folks intimidated by that? Is that why nobody chats in my room? It's because I have too many rules? I swear I kept it like down pretty low, I thought. I don't know, after this I'll probably um go and change that. Or actually, I'll just put it on my to-do list and do it in the morning, because I'm very tired. Uh, update. Chat rules. I'll put stars to show that that is a priority. <clears throat> Woodland Alliance is considering options. <clears throat> mm, all right, I think I'm doing okay. I got all the bags I can get. And I'm going to be able to make a root tea next turn, which will be very helpful. Or Ooh, do I want the tea? No, that's not the tea. That's Commander Warren. He just has tea in his picture. The bake sale. I'm going to do the bake sale next turn. Should be pretty useful. Um, Did the Marquis craft anything? Nope. Sorry, boys, you don't get this aid for free. Perhaps the Eerie will do it. Mmm, now they're doing some sneaky business. Oh, they're making a big move. Oh, they're making their big move. Oh, that's who you fight? Huh, okay. Interesting. I figured you would have fought over. Well, wait a minute. No, it's a bird. They could have fought anywhere. Huh. Odd. Odd. But all right. All right. And then we're going to slip over here. Stay as far away from the, the Woodland Alliance as we can. And then we're going to craft this here. This gets me quite a few coins. And then... Hmm. Oh, even though they don't have the items, let's... Let's aid. Oh, wait, do I have a quest I can complete? Oh, sword and... torch. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Two victory points. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, and that's four. Got it, got it. And then I think I will aid. Yes, I will aid. We're gonna aid a lish feller right here. You know what? I will aid both of them, actually. So I'll aid the Marquise with this. And I will exhaust this because I don't need it. And then I will aid them again. Which, honestly, I, I'm glad that it shows me how much I've aided them because I always lose track in the tabletop game. It can be pretty confusing, especially when you do a ton of aid options. All right, and then one last one. We're gonna aid the Eerie. Be my friend. Please, please be my friend. I I'm a friendly, friendly beaver, I swear. Whoa, okay. What's going on with the chat now? Hmm. Okay. 
I'll do a protection racket first thing next turn. Hmm. Oh yeah, and what's my new quest? T and that in a fox clearing? Well, I'll do that too! Nice! I already have my turn figured out. What the f Ooh, buddy boy! Naughty, naughty. Oh no, I should have really. Oh boy. I should have really kept that ambush. That's fine. I'll I'll damage the ones I don't need. Naughty, naughty. I should have done one of my boots there. Oh well, it's fine. I don't need protection racket immediately. So. Yep. Mistake, bud. Oh my goodness, my throat is a little dried out. I have been up for quite a while. I mean, a standard amount of time, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think this game's going to go on too much longer. If there's still a bit of time at the end here, I'm probably going to... Uh, Check out the tutorial, see see how they play out. I know how to play the game, but you know what? It's content, I paid for it, so why not? Let's see let's see if it's entertaining. Go on then, Woodland Woodland Alliance. What you got, boy? What do you got? Let's see then. Yeah, 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 yeah. My plan here then. I'm gonna repair both of those. I'm gonna repair both of those. Strike. I'm gonna repair both of those. Uh, move and strike and fight. Should be pretty good. Battle decree and a mouse clearing. Hmm. What mouse clearing are they gonna battle in? Oh, that's their plan. Okay. That's an outrage, though. That is an outrage. So let's see. Mother, mmm. That's fine. <sighs> I can take that. Oh, I need it for the quest. I need to. I can still. Take 
do that, so I will damage one of the root T's. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. All right, uh, and the boots. That's fine. That's fine, they might actually be doing uh, my work for me. I made myself a big target because I got very close to uh, winning here, but that's okay. I can still work it out. And they're not gonna win, they're not even close. And I don't believe there's anywhere they can build a roost. Uh, oh, no, I suppose. I suppose there was. Choose items to refresh. All right. I'm going to refresh these. Oh. These. And a boot. And then we are going to slip over here. Repair. Uh, repair this. And... Repair this. We are going to strike this boy. Which gets us a point because they are hostile. And, or I suppose it didn't, whatever. Gonna gain two victory points from the quest. And then, for the pure sake of satisfaction, despite it being less than ideal for us, I'm going to attack the recruiter. Because it's defenseless, we are going to certainly take it out, regardless of the roll. Which was still in my favor. Ooh, you guys thought. You thought. But you were wrong. And it's fine. Next turn, I'm just going to duck into the forest. And they won't even be able to attack me. Hmm. So in that case... Uh, oh, I suppose I have not done that one yet. Hmm. So yeah, let's just aid them twice. To really rub it in. get a point for that. We will get a point for that. And it's not going to matter too much anyways. I can lose a few items because we're getting pretty close to what I'm going to call the end. All right. All right, I got to discard four, so I'm going to discard the... Uh, well, let me see. What quests do I have? Nothing that involves 
coins. And am I going to need the repairs? No, I'm not. So we will remove those. And we'll remove the sword. That's fine. Because I'm still going to win fairly soon. Yes. I'm going to do the tea and the torch this next turn. That's all I need to refresh. And then I will win. Hmm. Let's see what they got. Oh, couldn't do anything to stop me. How about that? How about that business? Let's see. Let's see here. What you got, bud? All right. You spread a sympathy. Good for you. Ooh, 12 points. Isn't that lovely? You're doing so good, friend. Hmm. Considering options, eh? Which options might those be? Mmm. That's fine. They're not going to earn any of those points because this is going to end quite soon. Mobilize. Oh boy. Oh, it's good. It, it's kind of a good feeling when you know you're going to win on the next turn and there's nothing they can do to stop you. In fact, I don't think they can even attack me here, can they? Oh, I suppose. I suppose the Eerie could, but it's fine. All I need to hang on to is the torch and one of the kettles, and I will be just dandy. I don't think they can do enough damage to me to do anything about that. Even if they went and got three, I could just get rid of one of the bags. Fantastic. Soon, soon, whenever they finish up their turns. I don't know what they're hoping to accomplish. They haven't even broken 15. I suppose I did win quite quickly, though. Yeah, I only started this game, like, less than an hour ago. Hmm. Go on, then. Take your futile steps towards your oblivion. For I, the beaver, shall win this game. Soon. Soon. Very soon. As soon as... As soon as it gets to be my turn again, really. Oh, they're gonna try and fight. They're gonna try. Hmm. Oh, okay, right now they're just trying to meet all of their requirements because if they go into turmoil, they can't fight me. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, they hit a whole five points by the end. Look at that. All right, roll a zero. Roll a zero, dummy. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh geez. Oh geez, it's a little leggy. Okay, there we go. What you got? What you got? They got a zero. Oh, called it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ah, they get the higher mark. 
that's fine. I'm just gonna damage these bags. I don't need them. Because all I gotta do is finish that quest. And then I win. Ooh, they left me battered and bruised, but it didn't matter. Oh, and they went into turmoil. Shucks for them. Oh my god. Listen, I know this is early access, but this chat function is barely usable. It's it's pretty rough. Wow, they went down to a single point. At least they didn't go down to zero. But they will end this game with at least a point. Good for them, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just delaying the inevitable. Here we go. And it is my turn. Now let me double check. Uh, yes, I will refresh these. Let me double check that I'm in the right clearing. Fox, torch, and kettle. Yep. So I'm gonna skip the slip, stay where I'm at, and we are going to do a quest. And we're gonna gain three victory points, and that'll take us over the 30 we need. There we go. Come on now. Give me my points. There it is. The end, folks. Oh, give me the victory screen. Come on now. There we go. The rankings. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Gosh, Marquise only came up like slightly above half. That's a good feeling. All right, what do the leaderboards look like now? Let's see, where am I at? 94, oof, oh boy, oh wow, some people have been playing a lot today. Okay, that makes enough sense to me. All right, I'm gonna actually call it a night because I am very tired and I still gotta feed my pets. So, uh, I wanna thank you all for watching. If you haven't, please consider uh, following because it is free for you and it greatly helps me. All you gotta do is click the heart up on the browser version or I think it's just a heart as well on the app version. I stream on uh, Mondays, Thursdays, Mondays and Thursdays, random games. Right now I'm gonna be playing Legacy of Goku 2. I played this because it did come out today so I wanted to do that as a special thing. I'm playing Pokemon Shield on Saturdays and that's all happening at 7 p.m. Eastern on all three of those days. If you uh, came in late and want to see this later, uh, you can watch on the past broadcast tabs up above. That's the last 14 days of streams. You can also find all of them down below on the uh, YouTube archive channel. You can find a link to that. And you can also find my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. I'm going to be posting up a real long movie review. I caught up on all the 30 or so movies that I watched since the last movie review I did. So go check that out on my personal channel. I'm also working on a video essay, uh, board game review, uh, the how to play series that I work on, whiteboard games, is having a season two before too long. Probably still in November, but we'll see. You can also follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid, and that's where I tweet out when I'm going live, so that's the best way to know. And if you follow me, you get a notification. So, I want to thank you for inviting me into your home, your tablet, your computer, your phone, your game console, however you watched. I hope I entertained you, and I hope you have a great night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. G goodbye. Ah, oh, none of my shortcuts are on this version. Hold on. Goodbye.